What is up guys? We got plenty to do today. Uh, first thing is we want to try and prep the backside of the doors and then the jams on the car. And uh, that way we're going to be able to rehang these and finally figure out our body line situation. Uh, I think what we're going to try and do as we test them a little bit here is we're going to try and mute the body line as much as possible. Um, Having such a crisp line initially isn't that bad. It actually gives us a good basis to then take that body line down a little bit and just try and make it look as round as possible. Uh, but uh, while we're doing that, or somewhere in between or after, we're gonna try and finish off these front fenders. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some blazing putty and try and fill up a lot of these smaller pinholes, really finish these off and just try and get this all black as well, or at least all the inside, and then we'll be able to rehang these after we get those doors on. What I'm going to be doing first is jacking up the car, taking off these front wheels. I'm going to take off this inner liner and then I'm going to prep all this inside and paint that black as well. And then this is the jam that I'm talking about. We're going to have to take off all this trim inside here and then prep all that and paint that black as well. And then once we rehang the doors, we can move on the finished bodywork through the doors and then onto the fender, finishing this off and finally being able to get the front of this long nose finished off. I don't know how much we're gonna get done today, but I'd like to try and get as much of the backs of the doors prepped. I'd like to finish off the fenders and at least get them ready to be on. Since the last video, I did do a couple of things. We finished off getting the majority of the front of these done. And then on the back of the car, uh, I'm not sure what I've done. I know. I told you that George finished that other quarter, at least the top half, but I went ahead and finished off this quarter entirely. So this one's pretty much done and where it's gonna be. And then on this side, I got the top half of this one all in primer, or at least initial primer. But I think George today is gonna be finishing off this top edge here right after we gap this and get this body line a little bit more straight. So what I want to get done is basically prep all this surface, uh, probably just until about here, at least past where the uh, door panel is, uh, all inside here. We're gonna want to pull off this rubber all the way around, or at least up until around here, we can just flip it up. And then I'd like to just paint all this black, including these, and then where the sealant is, right here. We're gonna want to either sand that off or try and break that off, however we can get that done and uh, just prep all this inside there, even inside here, and paint that black. So after taking off this trim and seeing how nice this paint under here actually is, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and tape all this off and we're gonna try and keep this whole section, the factory dark gray, and then we'll tape all this off under here and then this kind of jam area, we're gonna paint all of that black. So right now we're gonna wipe this down, uh, get all this dirt and grime off and then prep it, paint black, and then this door will be ready to be rehung. Alright, after Dakota started cleaning this door off, we realized that it was just really dirty inside here. Uh, that there wasn't a bunch of overspray like I thought. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to rehang all the doors as they are right now. Uh, and then once we actually get to the painting stages of the car, we're going to paint it with the doors open and do the jams and then close them and then paint the rest of the car. And that whole process will probably be explained once it comes down to it. But pretty much what we're going to do is I'm just going to put this door back together. We're going to rehang all the doors, 
and then start doing the rest of the body work. The reasoning for taking up this fender liner here is just because I know that when I cut for the flare, I'm gonna end up cutting into that and there's no reason to have it since it doesn't really protect anything anyways. Uh, also, I cleaned off this a little bit too and that seems to be pretty decent as well so there's no real reason to paint that black either. So uh, the only thing that I did end up doing is I took off the little trim pieces right here and that's just so those don't get hit by any kind of primer or anything because I don't want those to be painted and they're gonna have to be taken off eventually anyway. So I gotta take off the ones on the other side and then we'll be able to start rehanging doors and rehanging the fenders. Um, but before we rehang the fenders, actually we need to go get that glazing putty and fill in those little uh, divots in there and just try and finish those off. Uh, the inside of the fenders are gonna be painted black and then rehung. So that's pretty much the only thing that he said that's gonna be painted black that is going to be painted black. Do you think maybe I should just pull this off on every single door just because we're gonna have to take it off anyways? Yeah, I'm gonna take all this stuff off. I might as well just at least pull this one off, right? Yeah. Because we're going to have to pull it off just yep. to paint it inside there anyways. Alright. So I just got back from the store and I picked up this glazing and spot putty. And I guess this is uh, what George told me to use for these little things inside here. These little pinholes and all that. And he said this should do pretty much the entire car. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off these fenders with this. And then paint the inside of this black. And then we'll be ready to rehang everything back on the car. And then again, we're trying to fill in all this little stuff inside here, all these little pinholes that weren't able to be filled in. Uh, this one needs a little bit more sanding just right here. So I'm gonna do that first. We're gonna try and get this transition a little bit better, try and match the other side, and then we'll be able to start applying that putty. That a lot. <laughs> I didn't, I've never used it before. I didn't know how much to put. Yeah, you usually just use like, well, I mean, like, it's fine because you can sand most of it off anyway. It's basically like toothpaste when you try to fix a little pin in the wall. You just, just, just rub the toothpaste in there and that's it. But you know my mentality, dude. You could definitely put more Over than you need. Just... Yeah, well, you said to cover all the heavy grit, so I did. Anyways, while that's drying, Dakota's getting this little spot here done where we plugged that hole up. Uh, I didn't want to sand that off until I put some bonded glass on this side. And so we're going to sand that off, make that look at least halfway decent for now. And then once that's done and that's done, we'll be able to go ahead and paint this thing black. So I know I put a little bit more than I was supposed to, but I just did that so I could fill in a lot of these deeper grooves. Uh, but now this is all wiped down with alcohol, and I think this is good enough for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more layers of filler primer, and then we're going to paint the rest of this inside black. Uh, but I think I'm only going to paint for around this area black. There's really no reason to paint the rest of this black. Uh, I am going to hit this a little bit because that's sanded down the bare metal right there, uh, just because we had that filled in, of course. From that side, there's a little bit of a divot so that the uh, factory trim could hold itself in. But now that we no longer have that, we went ahead and filled that in. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna fall. Oh no, it's gonna break off. Like, look, get it from this shot. Look, the whole car is gonna be. Not even just like the back. Do the up down, do the up down. <laughs> that was like, just, just do, do it again, do it. More. That was plenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. 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 Oh That's George's rant for the day. <laughs> yeah, I get mad too. Just nice. remember that first pile is going to take off the whole river though, even though it's bottomed out coming off the trailer. Tyler, you should like stand up. Snapping. See, look. You see that? Wow. So you guys just saw George put all that force on this damn thing. We still got a ton of comments on the strength of these end pieces. 
which is so ridiculously annoying. And the thing is, is like, these things really aren't gonna go anywhere. Don't get me wrong, I don't weigh that much, but I weigh like, I think like 145-ish. I'm gonna put all of my weight on this thing right now, and that's gonna show that no pothole is gonna break this off. There's <laughs> like, it's so hard to balance. Well, at least we have the video of yeah. doing it. Well, there you go, guys. That's one more time we're going to prove it to you that this thing is not going anywhere. I think we're done with that. That's yeah. case closed. We should never have to address these end pieces falling off or breaking off ever again. So I went ahead and prepped the bare metal that was behind where the hinges are for the door. So I prepped that and I also prepped the hinges themselves for the door. And this is the only door that has all of the, uh, what is it, the weather trim off. And so we're gonna hang this one and then I'm gonna take the next door, take the weather trim off and then continue it on and on until we have the rest of the doors on. And then from there we can rehang the front fenders. Uh, we're gonna the, yeah, just uh, I'll, I'll try and assist. All right, can you lift the whole door? Yeah. One, two, three. Good. So now I've got the second door all prepped. I got the hinges painted, some little parts here. There's a bunch of excess Bondo in here. I had to sand that down. I painted that as well just so it doesn't rust. So we got all the doors hung now, and they're relatively straight, or back in the place that they were in. Uh, we might do a little bit more tweaking before we actually permanently mount the front fenders. But for right now, just so we can see how it looks, we're gonna throw them on there just loosely, and then that way we can be able to, you know, figure out where we're gonna fit everything. But that's gonna be the last thing for today. Show them that this, both sides are all nice, set, and black, and uh, pretty much how I want them. I'd say maybe a little bit more work later down the line, maybe with some 2K or something. I'll fill in all the little stuff, but I think I'm kind of over doing stuff that we're not ready to see anyways. really looks like it's getting there though. Like just now that it's all together and the majority of it is in primer and kind of nice-ish, obviously we still gotta finish this off, finish this off, start that bottom, finish the back, finish that top. But for the most part, it's, it's really getting there. I feel like it looks really good. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. 
and peace out.